What is up, guys? This is Justin, a.k.a. FM Digi, and I'm here with episode number 17. Hold on. The last episode of Chandler FC, A Race Up the United States Pyramid. At least the last episode in FM 19. We'll see. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, like I said, this will be the last episode for Chandler FC, at least in Football Manager 2019. Um, you know, it's been fun, sort of. It. I've really learned a lot with this new team, kind of developing a team, especially in the US, playing where the talent isn't as great as it is over in Europe. But it's been, uh, like I said, fun. But, you know, I've got some big plans coming for FM20. Um, those of you who are following me on Twitter, you already know about my big plans. If you haven't yet, do it down below. There's a link to my Twitter. Follow it now. I'll wait. Okay. Uh, you already followed at me, right? Okay, cool. So anyhow, I, um, am going to not, uh, retire because apparently then I can't simulate anymore, but I will quit my job. And we will fast forward five years, check in on the team, and then fast forward 10 years, check in on the team. You know, we've left them with some good money. Uh, you know, we've made quite a bit of money over our time here. We've got almost $2 million in the bank. Uh, we're doing pretty well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to resign from our position right now. <laughs> Let you guys have a good night. Goodbye, Chandler FC. That sucks. Ooh, Hernando Sobrino. He is going to follow me out the door. Um, is he one of the guys? Yeah, he is the guy that I made. That's right. Alan Hernando Sobrino. He followed me in. He's going to follow me out. He is a local uh, Chandler uh, youth coach, so that's why I picked him. But yeah, let's go ahead and go on vacation for a really long time. Uh, let's go five years into the future, 2026, and I will see you in a few. All right, well, welcome back. We have gone five years in the future to May 11th to 2026. It just got done. I haven't even looked at anything other than the screen. So let's see what we got here. Uh, What's in the inbox? A couple questions from the Chandler AZ. I um, haven't asked. It has about one question a year. Interesting. Um, let's go to here. Let's see how Chandler FC is coming on. Uh, National League Premier still. Let's see. History competitions. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And something else. I can't see what it is. Oh, I don't care. Let's look. Okay, we ended up oh, double promotion. All I had to do was quit. So we quit right here. Uh, eighth place. We finished second or sixth, sorry, in the first season. Fourth in the second division. Then fifth in the first division. Now in the premier division, 12th. Uh, this current season, we are seventh place in there look at that let's see that's awesome that's that's you know i'd like to see they went up two divisions while i was gone in those uh two years see if any names look familiar there's not a single name in here that looks familiar um that's too bad i was really hoping some of those guys had stayed on let's look at the transfer history um Go back here to see. I think this is where we left off. Yeah, Silva was one of our last guys. Broom, yeah, he was one of our last guys we brought in. Let's see. Ooh, brought in some money. Paid 32.5 for Mauricio Blanco. And we sold Hater. We sold Espinosa. He was going to be leaving soon anyway. Sold Puckett, our goalie. Oh no, he went away on a free. Oh man. 
So let's see Hader here. We ended up, oh, we paid 350 for him, got 10K back, decent ROI. Um, he didn't do, he wasn't a game breaker. He was for us until that last season at Charlotte and then went on to, on a free to Lansing. Uh, let's see who else is going on here. We've got good signings here. He's apparently dead. I can't click on him any longer. Let's go to the next season. Mauricio Blanco was 32 and a half. Probably sold him or he retired. Let's see. Mejia went on a free. I don't know these names. Mel free. So how many good signings did they make without me? Some, not really too much going on. Let's see if they sold anyone else that we liked. Oh, Kristan Lido, he went for a free. Perez went for a free. Oh, all these guys, I don't know who these guys, this Williams is. Let's look him up. Oh, he came the season after for a free, made nine grand profit. Take it. Uh, let's see. No one else really left on the team. He's brought in a lot of frees that year. And yeah, none of these names are familiar. So let's see how the seasons went as we left. Let's see. We left here. Our last game, I believe, was against El Paso. Going to the 21-22 season. Um, not that good of a uh, preseason in the second on a good run, kind of getting a little shaky there with three games there with Boston, Montreal, and Rochester, uh, kind of shaky through the season here and there up and down. Doesn't look like a whole lot lost in the first round to Carolina in the, um, national cup. Um, and this was the season, I believe we finished. I think it was sixth place. If I remember correctly, I think this next season is the one we got promoted out of. Uh, did a little bit better in the friendlies and went until September 10th before we got a loss uh, against RGV. Pretty good success. Pretty good success, I'll say for sure. A um, couple losses there, but a lot of, a lot of good... Good, uh, a lot of wins there, so that looks pretty good. Let's go to 23-24 season. You see we're in the National First Division. A uh, little shaky there, but I know in the beginning we did go August undefeated. Went into September with a couple losses. And then went November, December, almost all of January without a loss. That's pretty good. Uh, shaky March. Oh, wow, look at that. Um, National Cup second round, we won against Weston, won against RGV. Had to do a replay, or not a replay, an eighth final. I guess that's a, before the quarterfinal against Orange County 23. Um, not bad, not bad. I did see we have a win on that one away. We had 37, but we did bring our one dedicated fan to that one. Let's see the next season, 24-25. In the premiere, so we got promoted that last season. I'm seeing the attendances increase too. That's really cool to see. Um, bad run of form right there. Ended strong. Oh, that's right. We went into the National Cup, and that was the season we won it. Uh, strong wins. Coming back against Tucson in the semifinals, beating Colorado Academy in the final at 914 in Tumbleweed Park. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. And then the most current season, 25-26. Uh, looks like we finished seventh in the National League Premier. Um, up and down, up and down. A lot of draws. Not a good March. An awesome April. And finished in the eighth final, losing in the eighth final um, in the National Cup. So, I mean, not too bad. Um, not too bad at all. Let's go in and see... See their finances. They had two point nine nine in the million of the bank. They lost eight hundred, almost nine hundred thousand last season, uh, just under the remaining budget. Payroll sixty six. Let's see if they have any players we recognize. 
we already did that. Um, let's see kind of how the head coaches are going. It looks like it was me and then David Toledo came in for just over a year. Uh, he came in from Scott Gallagher, left to Lone Star to be an assistant coach. And then currently Carlos Alberto Hurtado who was the Southern California coach before. Uh, young, well, we'll see, how's he doing? Yeah, I mean, that's five years in, so we'll see um, kind of how they're doing. They're still at, uh, let's see, they're still at Tumbleweed Park, it looked like. You know, we got uh, captain is Jose Aran Chapa, vice captain and of Anthony Sandoval. Take a... Um, let's also see what kind of things we've done. That was a that was a good run. I was holding them back right there. Let's look at the landmarks. See what's going on. Chris Oakley, I remember doing that. Oh no, that wasn't me. Lito, Chris Oakley, promotion to there. So we've got the same owners ownership going on, which is cool. Let's look at the all time best eleven. O'Farrell in there, Shield in there, Hamilton's in there. What's Hamilton up to these days? He retired right after the 2022 season. Um, he was a beast. Helped us, helps out a lot. Smith, what's he doing? Retired as well. Let's see, O'Farrell. All my, all my guys are retired. Shield, he's probably yeah, he's he was an old timer as well. Um. Okay, where's he at? 22 retired? Come on, man. You need better than that. Um, let's see. Let's look at our records here. Uh, most goals was Ro Farrell. Most goals in this. Overall, most goals. Um, appearances, Anthony Sandoval. Yeah, he played. Well, he came season after we left and. Uh, not bad. 42, 39, 20. So you got some games in there. Uh, Rofero, most goals by a player in a season with 23. Highest ra ra rating. Gonzalez in that first season. Youngest player, Lenz. I remember him. Pablo Cruz, new. Most goals in a month. So it looks like we didn't really break that many good positions. Um, Oh, this is the start of the new season, is it? They're second in the National League Premier, 25-26 season. I don't understand. That doesn't make sense. Uh, from the seventh, it looks like. Let's go back and look at these stages at least. We can see. So here's where we were. Oops. Here's where we were. Spoiler alert. Here's where we were in the 2021 uh, 22 season. So there, we finished eighth place. The next season, we finished sixth. Oh, man. <laughs> we didn't really have a shot at the playoff stats or the promotions that year. And the next season, we squeaked in 79 points. Man, those teams just coming in hard. So we'll go up 23-24 uh, season. And we end up getting promoted that next season in with 75 points. And New Mexico and Tucson got promoted with us. And then back in the premier, uh, let's see. Yeah, this was the first season we finished 12th. And then current season in seventh place there. Chandler FC, you know, not the best team. But I feel like if we went long term with these guys, we could have maybe taken them higher done some things with them, um, you know, hard to tell, but um, let's go in and sim another 10 years and just check it out real quick. All right, we are back 10 years in the future. Uh, let's see how it's getting on. I notice I have a message once, once a year. I wonder what they want to talk about, but, on see how Chandler FC is doing. League one, nice. No one there we recognize because there wasn't any there. 
anyone there we recognize the last time. Let's we'll see how their competition history is. We left off. The other seventh and seventh place, second place. Two years in League Two, one League Two, or a yeah, one League Two, and now they're ninth in League One. Awesome. Let's see. Fantastic. Only missed it by 10 points, too. It's not bad. Good to see New Mexico and United coming down a little bit uh, in terms of their they were having. Um, let's go see. History. It's a, I was definitely holding them back. Look at that growth. That's awesome. Fantastic. Coaches. I have stayed a lot. Eight years. Wow, that's cool. Trainers. Regen. Didn't exist when I started the game. Ah, uh, let's see. Records. Anyone broken any records? Overall goals. New record holder. Well, he was the uh, captain last time, I think. He looked nice. Good to see he's kind of been their best player of all time. Could have definitely used him. Could have definitely used him. Um, let's look at their transfer history. It's the season we left off on. We don't know any of these names, so we'll just kind of go through. Made some money, spent some money. Ooh, made a bunch of money there. Wow, that's pretty impressive. They made a lot of money. Hopefully they spent it spent next year. They're doing awesome with their sales here. They do. They bought this kid. Ooh. Got him on a free. Got him for a few years. Sold him for three fifty. That's not bad. Good business. Good business. And this is the last current year. Are they finally splashing the cat? Ten thousand hundred and five. Good. I like to see that. I like to see they're getting on. They're doing well. Check some finances down here. Eight million, almost nine million in the bank. Good on the budget, on the uh, season profit. That's awesome. Love seeing that. Love seeing the success they're having. Uh, looks like I held them back. But you know what? It was fun. It was something I wanted to try, and uh, you know, pretty happy I did it. I think there's anything else. If there's anything you guys are wanting to see, um, you know, message down below. But I will uh, cut this one short. All right. That was a wrap. Chandler FC, a race at the United States Pyramid. Uh, 17 episodes in. I'm pretty happy with how uh, everything went, especially once I left. Uh, so yeah, I held them back. But um, I mentioned before with Twitter, check down below if you're not already doing it. Um, I'm going to be releasing my FM20, or actually my new USA ProRel 9 tier database soon. Uh, it'll be ready for FM20 probably a couple of weeks after um, editors released on the 19th, I'm thinking. So it should be out a couple of weeks after that, hopefully by the beginning of uh, December. Um, but I've been playing it. I think I'm going to release it for FM19. I know it's, you know, no one plays it anymore, but I am going to release that here in the next uh, day or so. So look for that. But um, this has been a pleasure. I'm glad to take this journey with you guys. Um, hit the like button if you liked what you saw. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell so you know when I go. There's going to be a ton more content for FM20. I've got some good plans. Um, thank you so much. Have a great one.